the... <sighs> Welcome everybody to Spooky October Month. I'm your host for the evening, the Birdman, known as Falcon, and this right here is Syndrome, which should be a game a few of you will be familiar with if you've been around the channel for a bit now. We actually covered this a couple of months back as an early preview demo of the game itself. We had about like an hour or two of just gameplay alone. There was no story, the game was not complete back then. Now the game is complete, it is slated to come out on October 6th on Steam and probably a couple of other platforms as well. If you guys enjoyed, let me know in the comments and by leaving a like and I'll go ahead and cover the entire thing through. Otherwise, we'll probably just cover a couple of videos, show you what the game's all about and move on to something else. And I'm saying that right now as a disclaimer because there's a lot of games that I have um, slated for Spooky October Month, therefore, I don't necessarily want to get tied up with something if you guys aren't really enjoying it because there's a lot for me to cover right now for this month. But all that said and done, Syndrome, let's get into the game over here and get the ball rolling. Alrighty, and we're good to go here. So, let's see what's happening over here first and foremost. What do we have here? Console. So, everybody's deceased other than ourselves, which has, happens to be Trent Gallen. Let's go ahead and unlock this door. Close this behind me. Alright. So, um, I should state, just in case you guys weren't aware. Uh, there's gonna be some dialogue in this game. Obviously, I don't speak over dialogue. I feel like that kind of ruins the mood of the game itself. It's a horror game for a reason, right? So if I'm over here just kind of jib-jabbing around everything, it does ruin a little bit of the ambiance in the field, therefore... Commentary will be kept to a minimum, but... Solar flare detected. Blast shutters need to be closed immediately. That said, minimum commentary, but at the same time, you'll hear me talk on occasion, obviously. And we have a solar flare, which is no good. Okay. Uh, for the most part, this seems very reminiscent to how the preview demo actually started. So luckily for us, I kind of have an idea what to do. I don't have to run around here like thinking, oh, what do we have to do? Uh, we have a solar flare, so I think first and foremost, we have to come over to this console and close the shutters right now. That's part one of the equation. Then we have to figure out part number two, which if I'm correct, let's come through here. The graphics are really nice too. I turned off a lot of the stuff like chromatic aber aberration and like vignettes and stuff like that. I mean, motion blur, I'm not really too down for that stuff, so I turned it off, but the game still looks really good with all the other stuff maxed out, so there is that. Close the shutters, and that'll be it. As a matter of fact, let's peek out over here. Solar flares, huh? Can't do much to me with the blast door shut down. <laughs> Good. Alrighty, log entry. Sean T. Let's see. Oh, last time when I played this, people were letting me know that the dates are actually set up in, like, non-American version or non-American, I guess, format, so I was reading it, like, incorrectly. So this technically should be February 1st, not January 2nd, as I would normally read it myself. I know, America, how does it work? I hate this job, I hate spending the best years of my life inside a ship. I really wasn't made for this, but well, the pay is good. I'm earning ten times what I would be earning in the dock. 
10 times the amount of money for a terrible job, I think sometimes is the best thing for you. So you kind of have to suck it up and just go with the roll. Uh, go with the roll? No, I mean, roll with the punches, suck it up, go with the flow, roll with the punches. That's what I obviously meant, not go with the roll. Sounds like you're some sort of, like, you know, obsessive gambler or something. It's kind of like, no, no, he's going to roll the dice a couple more times, baby. What do you mean I'm out of money? That's fine. My kids have a college tuition I could use right now. Um, let's see. Pick up a text log. Marius R. This is going to be... I gotta get this proper. The 5th of January, February, March, April. Throws me off, man. Throws me off, I'm telling you. The company wants us to pick up some military team and a nearby moon. I don't like unexpected detours, but they're offering a nice bonus. They'll just be here for the ride, so it's worth the extra time. And that actually coincides with the introduction we just saw right now, how those people found some sort of alien thing, and the only way they could get out of there was by getting into a civilian ship, which happens to be ours. So that's basically the entirety of what happened over here. Uh, what about you? Nova Core Security System. Let's see the chip log over here really quickly. This will be May 12th. <laughs> we got it. Um, wait, actually, is that the first one? No, we should start down here. May 1st, all systems operational, nothing to report. May 6th, we have detected unusual readings today. We were unable to find out what's causing them. The 9th, Steve found out the readings originate from the lower decks of the ship. Chief Ryler was here today and ordered us to seize all scannings of the anomaly. This is highly irregular and will be duly reported. Okay. Crew stats, 7 healthy. 343 dead and 3 injured. That's uh, I'm a high number of deceased people, I gotta say. And now we gotta open up this door. Secured by Trent Gallon. So we secured this on the 19th, apparently. Interesting. So that we secure it and then we go into like cryostasis freeze or whatever. And now we're just being awoken. Hmm. I guess the best thing's going to be is to figure out what date we're currently on right now. How long have I, not, have I been under? That would be a really, really big question here for now. Scanning for possible contaminations. Is anyone there? Can anyone hear me? I'm here. Who's this? This is Commander Naomi. I'm part of the Marine Detachment aboard the Valkenberg. Identify yourself. I'm, uh... I'm Galen. Officer Galen? We thought you were dead. I just woke up from cryosleep. My mind is a blur. I don't know what's going on. How long have you been asleep? I'm not sure. I don't remember much. Most likely the effect of cryosleep. You should be okay in a few hours. I hope so. Where is everyone? Okay. Something really bad has happened on the ship. Um, bad? What do you mean? Galen. I need you to focus. I'm locked in the lower floor of the ship with some of my men. We need you to restore power. Are you able to do this? I'll try, but... Be careful. Trust no one. I must break contact or they'll find us. They? Who's they? So, from what I recall from this, this is very much like a, a system shock meets Dead Space type of game, obviously. Horror game off in some sort of like abandoned civilian ship somewhere. A little bit reminiscent of the Ushimura. Was that the name of the, the ship in Dead Space Ushimura? Something like that. It's been a while since I last played that. Amazing game, by the way. Second one was pretty good. Third one, you know what? I didn't really enjoy the third one too much, honestly. Too much of a focus on multiplayer. But, um, really cool game anyway. But this is very reminiscent of that. And it's all about... I guess, doubt? You're not sure who to trust in this game from what I remember. It's gonna be like two factions kind of battling each other over here, you're kind of like stuck in the middle trying to figure out what's what. So I really do like the mystery aspect of the game itself. So there is that. Alright, so restore power is gonna be the first thing. Alright, I, <laughs> I remember you. Yeah, yeah, you're not alive. Yet anyway. Technically speaking, you're robotic, so alive is kind of a stretch anyway. Text log. Kara N, this is going to be on... what is that? Is that July? July 1st. I can't wait to see Dave. I love him so much. It's been two months now. If my transfer to the station is accepted, we'll be closer. I can't stand to be apart from him for so long. That's really sweet, Kara. Wonder if you're still alive. Alrighty. This thing over here freaked me out the first time so bad because I was just wandering around the corner. Suddenly this thing's over here just standing. Really crazy limbs and everything. It's a robot holding... 
what I think is a pipe. Good God, it's dark. Needed a flashlight or something. And here's how you save the game, if I'm correct, right? Yeah. Let's get a save happening here really soon. Don't trust myself to survive in these games too often, so let's see. Good to go. Alrighty. Locked elevator. Then we have to check out the systems room. Everything else should be locked for now. Note the um, crazy claw marks over here. Normally never pretty good. And what do we have here? What the? Yeah. It's all coming back to me now. How's it, um... <laughs> how's it hanging up there, guys? <laughs> you get it, because they're... Okay, whatever. Um, before we go over here, let's check out the systems room, because that's a bit more freaky. Crawling in my mind. These wounds, they would not heal. We are all dead. Another log. Marius R. on July 1st. Dr. Vobat continues to disturb me with psychological reports of my crew. He doesn't know them like I do. We're a perfect machine, me, the ship, and the crew. They're just tired. We can handle everything. Yeah, we'll see about that. I don't think you handle things pretty well here, all things considering, right? Uh, what are you? Oh, turn the power on. Nope. Unable to power the system. Override necessary at Auxiliary Terminals 1 and 2. So we can't do that just yet, huh? Alright. Nothing to activate here. Nothing here. Oh! Security key. Inventory with I. Gotcha. Alright. So auxiliary it is. And just based on the process of elimination here, we have to go down this spooky corridor. Now, I'm not sure if they've changed anything, mind you. I know they added the story and everything like that, but there could be some gameplay differences now. There could be some enemies where I'm not expecting them, so... Even though I've done this part already, doesn't mean it's clear sailing from here. Although, the first time around, the game did actually build amazing suspense, so... It wasn't like initially you walk in and suddenly it's like, you know, all sorts of monsters after you. The game did build amazing suspense, so... The game's also not letting me walk in through here for some reason. Excuse me, my friend. The door's open. No? I can't go in there? Okay. Well, I mean, I figured the door was open, I could just walk in, but apparently I'm wrong. What do I know? It's okay. It's just a fire, Falcon. No need to worry. This door is broken, I need to find another way inside. Alright. That won't do. You will do. You got here. Nothing of note. And we can run. Good. Crouch? Can we crouch? Oh, we're doing crouching with C, are we? It's not control? Oh, I'm so used to crouching with control. Door unlocked. Oh, we used the security keycard. <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember you too. Damn well I remember you too. Caution, vent axis. Well, I think that's where we have to go. System has been online. Oh, this is Auxiliary Terminal 1. Good. You've been offline for 187 hours. That's what, um, roughly three days in a couple of hours? Now online. You don't come to life. Yeah, yeah, I know. I thought you came to life in the past, but no. You stay that way for a long time, you're just there to freak me out. Not a big fan of the sea crouching, I gotta tell you right now. Can I run in here? I'm technically not run because I'm crouching, but can I... I guess crouch through fat. Oh! What? I'm hearing things. Yeah, don't worry, I heard that too. I think I heard something like, why would you do this to me? Or why would you... I heard like, why would you do this, maybe. It's all cool, man. We've been through many shafts before. <laughs> That's what she said. All right, let's sit over here. It'll be probably the last one. Auxiliary, we have a text log. Dave is not answering my messages. I hope nothing's wrong. It's so hard being apart from them. All I want is to start my life together with him. It's Kara again. Same day as the other one as well. Okay. Kara really misses his Dave character, huh? There we go. 
So the system should be ready to be powered up now. Oh, come on! Why would you make me go through there again? Right, right. See to crouch. See to crouch. Alright, look. This is not the time for you guys to scare me now, because I'm going back through the same area again, okay? It's a very cheap tactic. Please do not deploy that tactic on me, because it's going to probably get me. Even though I'm expecting it. It's a really annoying way to get through the shaft, by the way. It feels like when I'm going through the shaft right now, it feels like I'm kind of, like, injured. Or like I'm hobbling on one leg. That's how it feels like I'm walking right now. I'm just dragging my other leg over here, but um, I guess it's more of a crouching type of go through. You're not going to come to life suddenly, are you? No. Okay. You're still inactive, which is good. All right. Now, no power. I got to turn the power on for that. Uh, I'm really curious about this door that we couldn't get through. I still get, get I still can't get through it. That's so weird. All right, whatever. You're good. All right. It's one of those games where you get tired really fast when you run. God damn it! I hate that so much. All right, here we go. Galen, we've got power again. What? Big jam. Incoming audio transmission. Officer Galen, can you hear me? My name is James Marco, Technical Assistant Second Class. You can call me Jimmy. I know you were contacted by Naomi. Don't listen to her. Naomi and her soldiers are insane. They're shooting everyone on sight. A friend of mine from engineering was gunned down in front of me. They didn't even give him a chance to speak. You probably don't trust me, but that's okay. I don't trust anyone on this ship either. But we need to get the ship moving and find help. I'm locked in a cargo bay and can't do much from here. But I can guide you. You need to fix the engine so we can get this thing moving. Alright. So, as I mentioned, there's like two factions at work over here. That is the second one. Now, who do we trust? I don't know. The only thing I can tell you is that at least Naomi has a picture of a human when she talks to you. This guy is nothing but like, I don't know, it looks like an equalization bar or something talking when he talks to you. Although, it just means because we don't know what he looks like, I don't know. But, I'm a bit more trustful of Naomi for now, but that's just me. So, that's opened up now. However, didn't we also, yeah. This over here should be opened up now as well, right? Uh-huh. What's going on, dude? Ha! Oh, you're alive. Yo, hi. Well, I, I guess you were alive. Sir Jamadi. I found some food. Some really freaky noises happening right now. I got some food. What is this? No, I don't want to use it. I just want to find what it is. Just food bag? I think that's to heal yourself if I'm correct. I don't really quite remember. That's closed. All right. What about through here? You're open. I also get a big um, alien isolation vibe from this, but that should go without saying. What the fuck? Oh, you're you're just you you were just hung. Okay. Thought you were just floating there. Technically speaking, floating there would be less scary than just like a human body is being hung right there. Do I have a flashlight yet? Restart engine? No. Flashlight? No. No flashlight. Okay. Hopefully we get we get some at some point. Uh, tools? What are you? Nothing. All right. Gallon, do you read? I've got my transmitter working, so I can contact you directly. Who is this? Jimmy? What's going on? There's dead bodies in here. I know. And. That's not the worst part. But I can't explain now. We can't keep the channel open, or our positions will be traced. Who? Who will trace us? We'll talk later, I promise. Right now, you need to get inside that room. The last registered access was made by the chief engineer, and his last entry in the system was on the medical bay. Your best bet is to find the chief engineer. He'll have the keycard with him. All right. Good to know. 
Empty locker. Interesting. So, uh, Jimmy was the guy talking to us beforehand. So Jimmy does have an image too. Alright, well there goes my, my theory. <laughs> Who to trust? Uh, the person or just the mechanized, um... Equalization bar voice. Well, now they both have a picture, so now I'm in the loop of... I don't know who to trust. But we do have to get to, apparently, level 5 now. I can do that. How's our episode here? Uh, I think it's about time for us to start wrapping it up for the first one, anyway. Ah! Fuck! I forgot about that the first time! That scared me the last time, too! <sighs> people that didn't catch that the first time, too, a lot of people in the comments were... Whoa, 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 what was that? Yo, you hang out there, okay? No weeping angels bullshit way turn around and you get closer to me. It's freaky ass noise. You know what I'm gonna say? Yeah, the first time around that scared me too. Um, if you play close attention, you'll see like a body moving in the darkness going into like a room or something. That's what scared me the last time too. And a lot of people in the comments were like, what did he get scared of? I didn't see it. Gotta play really close attention, you'll see it. Um, anyway. I'm going to wrap it up here for the first one, guys. We will come back for another episode or two. Let me know in the comments if you're feeling about this. Let me know by leaving a like, and we will continue to play the entire thing through if you guys are enjoying it. For now, I'm going to wrap it up here. I will catch you next time.